Confusion reigns supreme. Despite my best efforts, despite um, the folks around me, despite our, 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 our best efforts to educate people, it's unbelievable to me that people are still, still being sucked in to MLMs and cheap supplement, meal replacement, garbage as a means to try to lose weight. The, the, the first thing, I guess, the first confusion is, you know, we really push health and wellness. We really promote health and wellness. And I'm a big believer in any plan or any program or any company that has that first in its, in its mandate. Um, you know, companies like Simply for Life, for example, if there wasn't a sculpt health and wellness, I would be telling everyone to go to Simply for Life. Because I know Bruce, and I know that his mandate, first and foremost, is health. It's a, it's a healthy, balanced plan. They're not pushing or promoting any crazy pills, powders, and potions, and things like that. It's a healthy, whole food plan. And any plan like that, I'm a big fan of. I'm not a fan of prepackaged sodium laden foods that you have to buy. I'm not a fan of anything that is led by a meal replacement or a powder. It drives me insane. I mean, but, but you know, people are still confused because there's still people buying into the hype. There's still people buying into Isogenics and Vizalis and Shakeology. And now you've got pharmacists pushing ideal protein as a weight loss program. First of all, why are, why are pharmacists in the weight loss business. That's, that's the first thing. And why aren't they promoting whole foods, proper nutrition, exercise, lifestyle? Oh, oh wait, I, silly me. They don't make money off that. They make money when they sell ideal protein. And trust me, if you ask anyone who's been in the industry for any length of time at all about the ingredients of ideal protein, about the stuff, please don't believe the hype. There is no such thing as a meal replacement. There's no such thing. You can't replace a meal. A healthy, nutrient-dense, whole food meal. You can't replace that with a powder. You can't replace that with a little package of powder. Do you lose weight? Probably. Do you lose weight with, with herbal magic? Was it, do you lose weight when you take an appetite suppressant and you're eating an 800 calorie diet? Sure you do. Of course you do. You're going to lose weight. But is it sustainable? No. Can you keep the weight off long term? No. Yes, there's all kinds of people that are probably going to respond to this saying, I lost weight on isogenics. I lost weight using ideal protein. Sure you did. You wrecked your health in the meantime. You wrecked your metabolism in the meantime. You're not getting the proper nutrients at all, not even close. And your health is jeopardized in doing so. Do you lose some weight? Yeah. And here's where the confusion is. It's not about weight, but people are still obsessed with it despite what they will say to us. We have clients sitting right in front of us who tell us, health is my number one priority. I want to have energy. And then we ask them, so how are your results? You know, how are your energy levels? Through the roof. Oh yeah, how do your clothes fit? Oh, my clothes fit looser. How do you feel? I feel healthy, I feel great. So what do you rate your results? Oh, I rated a four because I only lost four pounds. No, people, it's not about the scale. Long term. If you ask anyone who was on Herbal Magic, three years ago, I'm, I don't want to say I guarantee, but I'm going to say that a good solid percentage, maybe 90% plus, who did Herbal Magic three, four, five years ago and did it and lost weight, if you were to talk to those same people today, I'm going to say about 90% or more have put on the weight, put back the weight and more. You talk to someone who completely changed their lifestyle, somebody who went from being overweight and living a lifestyle that created obesity and type 2 diabetes and all kinds of other health issues, and you talk to that person three years later, and that person changed their lifestyle and is eating whole foods, nutrient-dense foods, exercising on a regular basis, drinking water and getting guidance and getting accountability, I'm going to say about 90% of those people still look and feel amazing because it's a fact it's not me pre well i am preaching but it's not me just saying that that's science that has been proven time and time and time again it requires lifestyle change 
It requires a long-term commitment. This isn't a beyond something, be off something. How long do you think you can pay 80, 90, $100 a week to be on a program ingesting powders? How long before you think your body's going to crave nutrient-dense foods? How long do you think it'll take? How long can your bank account sustain that? How long can your health sustain that? I'm going to go out on a limb and say not very long for either. Because first of all, you're throwing your money down the tube, literally. Down the toilet. That's where your money's going if you pay into those crazy things. The other thing, if it's an MLM, you're throwing your money out the window and then some. Any, any, if it's a supplement, if it's a weight loss supplement, if it's a protein powder, if it's a potion that is in disguise to help you become healthier and it's linked to an MLM, it's garbage. It's that simple. Science proves it. And again, I know there's going to be people who say, yeah, but I've got these papers that were written by a doctor. I've got these papers that were written by scientists. Mm -hmm. Those people are involved in the MLM. It's in their best interests to say that the stuff is good. It's in their best interest to say that pea protein is the best protein. It's not the best protein. It's in their best interest to say that those omegas come from some Alaskan village and that they're the highest. Just don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. The fact of the matter is, there is no supplement that can replace nutrient-dense whole foods. None. A supplement is simply that. Do I think people should take an omega-3? Yes, I do. Do I think people should take some D3 in the summertime or in the wintertime? Yes, I do to get because the, they're not getting as much sun. Sure. Do I think you should maybe take some vitamin C, multivitamin, whatever? You know, I think you should get more nutrient dense foods in your body. I think you should get a lot more greens and leafy vegetables in your body. I think you should drink a lot more water and exercise. And I think the confusion reigns supreme. I think that we're being it, it seems like it's out of control right now. I don't know what that's all about. But again, when you have pharmacists pushing ideal protein, come on, people. What is going on with the world? Pharmacists pushing ideal protein. No, no, it's wrong. Do not buy that garbage. Don't buy into the hype. Do some research. I know you're going to, the problem with research is you can find good and bad research on anything. There's research out there that says that drinking Coke is healthy. There's research out there that says drinking two glasses of wine a day is equivalent to one hour of exercise. Whew, man, so, so much for research. I just go by results. I just go by the 23 years of experience that I have in this industry, the thousands and thousands of clients that I've seen, that I've helped, that I've you know, witnessed firsthand the changes and I've also seen thousands of clients who've tried the other stuff with little to no success. No long-term success, that's for sure. Sorry, this video is really long and I apologize, but man, this stuff gets to me. So please, don't believe the hype. It's tried and true works. Find a system, and again, Sculpt is always my number one choice, but I'm a little biased. But find a system or a program that helps you rewire your brain that's, that talks about lifestyle changes, that talks about long-term, sustained health first. Weight loss is a cool side effect, but you know, I, I wish people focused more on health and wellness and energy levels instead of just what the scale says, because the scale is a liar. Scale doesn't tell you how healthy you are. So look for a plan or a program like that if you're in search. We all need guidance, we all need accountability. Find a good coach. Somebody who can guide you and motivate you and, and talk to you in a way that, got, that motivates you and keeps you going, keeps you moving forward in the right direction towards your goal. Yeah, anyways. Happy Tuesday, folks. No, happy hump day. It's Wednesday. Have a good day, folks.